A proposed longer school day has a lot of people fired up today. Senator Kamala Harris, who is also running for president, introduced a bill that would extend the school day until 6 p.m. The idea is to help parents who have to pay for after school programs or struggle to find a base babysitter before they get home from work. But what would the children do? And what about the teachers? Not to mention who pays. Sharon takes a look. Senator Kamala Harris. When presidential hopeful Senator Kamala Harris said, my mother raised my sister and me while working demanding long hours. A lot of parents like Stacy Blix could relate. Yep, I have a nine year old twins who are in fourth grade. I have a 14 year old who's a freshman in high school and a 17 year old who's a senior in high school. So when she heard about Harris's Family Friendly Schools Act, she says it didn't sound like a half bad idea. So having them do something that's enriching and um, improving skills and giving them an opportunity that maybe I don't as a parent have time to do during the week, sounds great to me. But Blix is also a teacher. Um, when you first read it as a teacher, you're like, I'm not working more. I'm not working three extra hours every day. But it doesn't sound like that's what she's proposing. What Senator Harris is proposing is a pilot program that will give some elementary schools serving a high number of low income families five year grants up to five million dollars to stay open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. to align more with a regular workday. Then the bill will allow studies to be published once the five year pilot ends. Is it a pie in the sky? Based on what's happening in education and education funding at this point, I would be shocked and amazed if a single extra penny went for this. I don't think it's a matter of not recognizing that there's kids that need this and could benefit from it. I just don't think we're prioritizing. To look at this, to Kirk Schneiderwind, well the executive works. director for Minnesota School Boards Association, that says that he shares similar funding. feelings. As school board members who balance budgets um, and who deal with some unfunded mandates, uh, I think one of the things that we're conscious of is additional requirements um, without any additional money. Schneider Wynn says he'd like to see more details about how this will work financially. This maybe be, appear to be coming down from the federal government always makes local governments, school districts and others a little bit uneasy because of the uncertainty around all of the implications. And those in D.C. may not understand what the challenges are at the local school district level. The one concern is lots of times we get federal mandates with no funding. Special education has never been fully funded, and that's my area of education. So we're doing services already that are mandated, that are, are covered through funding. And the fear would be this would be another, hey, you have to offer this, but we're not going to give you any money. And in addition to Harris, the bill is sponsored by U.S. Senators Kristen Gillibrand, Richard Blumenthal, and three other Democratic senators.